Villa uh, have gotten back into the Premier League, stabilised back in the Premier League. The ownership model is a very sensible one. They've made managerial appointments, like everybody does, that have been flawed. Um, commercially, they're probably in reasonably good nick, so he'll go out the door with his, with his reputation intact. Um, you know, I don't agree with a lot of the Christian's outlooks and views, um, but there is a view in football that he's a, a good operator. He's operated at big football clubs. And so with that in mind, Christian will no doubt pop up somewhere else. Is I'm that, sure is that Emery that's making that decision? Because what, for the chief executive? Well, I'm just... silly, Martin. Why would well, a manager no, just, make a just, big, okay, Why would just, a manager... Just hear me out here. Because Emery now looks to me... I mean, there's a lot of people at Arsenal that told me that he was tearing down walls, taking down the foundations that Arsene Wenger had put up. And you saw from the outside, OK, this man looks a good manager. Now he's at a club where they, they want to give him complete control. Is this about control? Is he... Is he He's well, spoken to people well, high up, the well, owners, and said to them, well, look, two I jobs, can't work with Christian Pul Two different jobs, aren't they? I mean, it's unlikely that a manager will take out a chief executive. That's not how the hierarchy works. Not impossible, no? Uh, well, no, just think about it for a minute. Bordering upon very unlikely. Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible, but bordering mm. upon very unlikely. I mean, it has been said that Emery is a man who wants more control wherever he got. Yet maybe he had that at Villarreal. Maybe he's wanting that at Aston Villa. Well, I, mean, I mean, you can you can make the case that um, at Arsenal, Arsene Wenger had a lot of control, but in the end, David Dean would make the final decision, yeah. or Ivan Gazidis would make the final decision. In this instance, with someone like Arsene Wenger, whose mind and capabilities are very different than your average football manager, he would be more included in the conversation than a but football manager. that was done manager. over many years, wasn't it? So it, Arsene Wenger's power grew within the football club and they trusted him and they understood that he, he had a vision for the football but club. His to bring but his power base... But this has all happened in six but months. But his power base didn't extend to being able to control, have control over the finances. His power no. base in Arsenal was to accept the parameters of the con constraints that Arsenal were putting upon him because they had built a new stadium. So when we get into this idea that football managers have the power to be able to change a, a chief executive position, it's slightly foolish um, because it's not the way that it works in the real world, in some ideal world. So if Emery says he can't work with him, he talks to the owners, he doesn't want to work with him, that, you don't think that creates a change? I doubt it. I doubt it. Mm. It might create a conversation. And it might interesting to it might hear why he's gone. Mm, mm. Well, time will tell on that one. Monchi, the, the current sporting director at Sevilla, being spoken about. What we do know, Simon, is this fellow, Matteo Almani. Uh, he was all but coming to Aston Villa. And then a change of direction at the last minute and he stayed put in Barcelona. Mm. So this has been rumbling for a bit, hasn't it? And it goes to show what we already knew. Edens and Sawiris have big, big plans for this football club and they want to run it their way. Or, or they think Christian Perso has run his course. Um, and of course you're running around we, you know, we get these associations with football clubs and we automatically assume that these people are very very good um, and of course there's a disconnect between someone working for Barcelona and with due respect someone working with Aston Villa um, because the, the size and scale of the clubs albeit Aston Villa being European champions but not to the significance of Barcelona and not for a very long time I mean look I think these guys are serious because anyone that owns a Premier League football club has a degree of seriousness about them the, re the reality of how serious you are to want to be the top club in the Premier League that's a different conversation entirely Yeah. but if you're in a Premier League now with the embarrassment of riches that the Premier League has got and if you've got a billionaire owner then everyone's up for grabs you know it wasn't so long ago that no one would have ever contemplated getting Marcello Bielsa to manage a team in the Championship and paying three and a half million pounds a year but Leeds United did so nothing's beyond the reach of anybody yeah so Christian think, Perslow has gone. We uh, we await to see who his replacement will be. Sorry, Martin. Aston Villa is a club close to your heart because you enjoy. Yeah, you, you know, I do. You, you, you enjoy a, a decent relationship. I was with there the Villa in fans. turbulent times. Yeah, I, I must say, but um, the the promotion that we got there was lives long in my memory. It was a fantastic occasion to get that promotion at Swindon. We were uh, in trouble with that last game of the season. And it's this time of year. It reminds me every time. So Villa is a great club. There's no doubt that about that. It's just I'm just a bit concerned with Emery. Just a bit concerned. Um, we're hearing about things at Arsenal taking down all memorabilia. I didn't want any sight nor a sign of any previous successes. Um, this might just be the perfect club for him, Villa. But I think maybe this is about power. Once everybody wanted another Spanish guy into the director of football, it, didn't, it fell through, as you say. They're now looking at another Spanish individual to come in. I think there's big change. Um, but I think it's dangerous when somebody has too much power. And I'd just be interested to see how this one pans well, out. Well, well, power over... You want, first of all, you'd be the major advocate for having autonomy over the football matters. right? You'd be the, the, the poster boy for singing that particular song. And changing the direction of living in the past. If, there's a, if there is a, 
uh, a, 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 an attitude towards living in the past, then it doesn't allow you to progress in the present. So maybe the flip side of the argument about um, Emery tearing down what your perception of is the Wenger legacy is there might have been a necessity to have done some of that. There might have been a necessity to move people along. What was done in the past via you and your co- cohorts... Yeah, but you should have built... Should he not have built... I mean, maybe it's different at Villa, so it's a fresh, clean, well, piece, what clean slate. Because there's not been recent successes, there's, there's, really. There was Arsenal, there have been very recent successes. But so you would have built upon maybe, this But maybe so. because Arteta's been allowed to depart from the legacy of what was done by you guys and no longer reference... Well, maybe he's breath. returned to that in recent times. Or maybe, maybe he hasn't. Maybe you've seen, Yes, he has. I've seen okay. that. I've been really silly to the training ground, but and, and but I've seen it all being rebuilt. But your assertion is is that Emery takes down a few paintings and suggests that we need to move on. No, he changes it's, the culture. It's somehow, a tearing down. You a rip legacy. down. A, you change the culture. You rip away the. Well, culture. you need to change the culture. Of course, you, well, no. Evolve. Sometimes you can build upon it, and it was there to be built but upon. Ask, but the you, culture you're this may be the case at Villa. Mark. I think it's a new change, and you, it, maybe it's going to work because of Emery, but they're certainly giving the power, especially if the chief executive has gone, has gone, has walked out the door. I think it's a very interesting story for me, Jim. Okay, all right. Um, as much as Christian. he wants to giggle, I'm, I think it's a, a very interesting no, I just, story. I, Stop I, giggling. Well, I just think it's a ridiculous assertion, but there we are. Well, Christian Parslow, the chief executive at uh, Aston Villa has gone. Uh, we, it remains to be seen uh, who comes in. And also, to what degree Unai Emery has any degree of say in who comes in as well because as Martin is suggesting Emery maybe uh, likes to be involved maybe more than a manager might expect to be involved at any football club we shall see Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport